What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode five of season five of Where's That Bark Heart? I am uh, one of your hosts, Nick Dury. Alongside me, as usual, are... Hi, I'm Gina. Hello, I am Daryl. <laughs> Monty Scott, once again. <laughs> this is my this Hold, is my nail file. Holding a pen like Bob Dole, or is that yeah. a needle of some sort? <laughs> <laughs> this is a nail file. I'm, Did you get well somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Mont- Monty's either going to a shiving or coming from a shiving at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is a clean shiv knife. Yeah. Um, new week, new shiv. <laughs> Nick, great uh, shirt. Oh, thank you. This is actually, I was saying to the guys earlier, this is, I got this at Black Bear Ridge in uh, Belleville when I was there with the Bull oh, Moose Boys God. last uh, last summer. And uh, yeah, I, I saw it and it was cool. This is their logo, actually. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little black bear. Cute. I yeah, love that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I like it. A little funky. He's on a ridge. Uh, I, I don't know if he's actually on a ridge. No, I don't know. I think he's just a black bear. <laughs> But uh, yeah, great course. If you guys ever get to play, fantastic course out in Belleville. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, um, it's kind yeah. of a scary, uh, like, kind of a scary thought, really. Um, black bears on a ridge. Like, are you on the ridge with the black bear? True. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. you don't you don't want to be. Uh, there's one way off this ridge, and it's like running away from a black bear who has yeah. the higher or, grand. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Or maybe the bear comes at you and you roll, and the bear goes off the ridge. Mm. I mean, if you, if you can dodge a bear, sure. You'll find out. If you can out. dodge a bear, you can dodge a ball. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The first test, not... though, is the bear. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the bear riled up. Maybe, um, um, flick it, flick his ears. <laughs> we got to hang out again, the four of us, for some time on Saturday night. Gina came out to the show. She unfortunately missed. Yes. Daryl and Monty yeah, we, just staying up. We all went into her Jeep and we uh, we hung out there for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> it is really yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was super fun cool. time. Yeah, Nick, okay. you did great. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun having you guys on the show and Gina for you yeah, to see some Gina, of it. How did, how did Monty and I do that night? How were our sets? <laughs> I thought you guys probably did so good. <laughs> probably. You know what? You're right, Gina. Play the play the odds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> she she showed up immediately after Monty got off stage. Yeah, yeah. I I timed it perfectly, so I was like, yeah. oh, I, I just missed it. Darn. <laughs> That was the best. You didn't uh, have to have that awkward best. conversation afterwards about was it funny or wasn't it? <laughs> you know? yeah. like, that was the best when Nick was on stage. He he said, "Hey, um, is Gina here?" And then just nothing. Yeah. And then I was like, "Did he? Oh, why did he sorry. think Gina was here?" I mean, because I was like, "I didn't see you," so I was like, "Does he know Gina?" No, because you know? right before. Right before I went back on to get you off, Monty, Gina texted saying, "I'm sorry, what happened? What did you do?" When when I got you got Monty uh, off, I, I didn't what? get well. After I yeah. took him off stage, which sounds very aggressive. Uh, when I finished, <laughs> when when Monty was when full Monty to completion, climaxed. yeah, when he was full to completion, uh, and I was there, and I replaced him. Um, <laughs> Gina had sent a text saying, "I'm here, sorry I'm late," or something to that effect. So I just assumed she was sat somewhere so, and I didn't see her. <laughs> I said I'm on my way, but I didn't yeah. say. And then I'm gonna circle the club looking for a, a right. parking space for thirty right. minutes. So yeah, that's how I knew she wasn't in the room. We couldn't hear her jeep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this was actually embarrassing. So yeah, in an effort to promote the podcast, I wanted to say if you guys liked, if the audience liked those so these two, the, these two guys, we do a golf podcast along with Gina, right? Gina, Gina's here, and then just dead silence for like a good five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> And then no one knew if I was doing a bit or not. And I was just like, well, I guess Gina's not here. And then no one laughed again. And they were like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Could we get back to the show and stop the self-promotion? So, yeah. Yeah. It's probably the worst thing I've ever seen in a comedy show. The guy from Nick's open mic who tried to walk on the table to get to stage even said it was terrible. (laughs) (laughs) 
yeah yeah that was fantastic yeah so some <laughs> some, some, some downs when you're when you're hosting but um no we had a fun, well, we had a fun yeah. little hang after I'll yeah. say this about Daryl, and I thought it was I thought it was pretty good right off the gates. It really inspired everyone because Daryl went on um, first after Nick, and um, Daryl went right on stage. He went directly um, directly on the path that we used to get up stage. He was All on right. there immediately. Yeah. A right. true pro, um, there a was, pro's there pro. Was no, you might even a say. pro's pro. There was no circle of the room. Because I was like, geez, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this goddamn stage. And then, you know, Daryl just showed me the way. And then I was like, that's yeah. how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah. Daryl leads. He doesn't follow. <laughs> yeah, right. that's, that's I actually yelled that as he went on stage. That's how you do it. That's how you get on the stage. <laughs> it really threw me off when you were yelling that. That was the worst part. I... <laughs> yeah, I was pounding my chest. I was like, that's how you get it done. <laughs> <laughs> but then we all get to hang out for a few hours it was nice yeah yeah it was good it was awesome i had a great time despite missing most of it yes <laughs> well you, you you hit a lot of the hanging out though you got a lot of that yeah, exactly mm-hmm. <laughs> either way i didn't miss you guys i caught That's you true. in one respect or the other <laughs> yes in a uh, social setting just not a professional setting right um but uh, speaking of apparel, as we were, have, are you guys excited about Tiger Woods' new golf clothing line? Have you seen it? Do you know what it is? No. Um, I have I, not I, seen I, it. I, yes. I don't think I could care less about anything. Or that. Yeah. I, I mean, I we can we know me well enough to know I don't care about clothing. Yeah. Sure as hell not going to care about what he's wearing. Hawking. Mm-hmm. Well, what's yeah. he doing? That's my two cents. He, he's he's launched his own clothing line. I think it's it's in partnership with TaylorMade, but it's called Sunday yeah. Red. Uh, three words. Mm-hmm. And you know, the... what? yeah. Sorry. No, go ahead. I I just have like thoughts on this, and I don't know why this bothers me, but like, oh. okay, okay. So he's with Nike for what was it, twenty nine years or something? Yeah, something like that. And then he started. What is it? Because he started playing with TaylorMade clubs. That's the relationship that he had with TaylorMade. Well, yeah, because Nike stopped making clubs, so he was sort of his yeah. hand was forced, and so he. I I don't know if his vetting process, but he went to TaylorMade clubs. Yes. I I guess it's like if you have that much uh, money, and but like at that point in life, and you are like you know kind of thinking about retiring, like why would you not just put all the money into doing the brand yourself? Yeah, actually, I'm kind of with you. Yeah, I don't know I mean, if like Taylor made, if maybe it just logistically Taylor made has the warehouses set up, and so you don't right. have to start those and all of that kind of stuff. So maybe it's just mm-hmm. like the the yeah the infrastructure is in place for him to just piggyback on whatever they do. Totally. Yeah. It's certainly, I'm I'm sure easier in in one way or the other, but uh, yeah, I was just kind of surprised. I don't know why, like the entrepreneurial side of me is like, Mm. oh my God, if you could afford to, you know, take the time and and really build a company that is like yours alone. So no company can screw you over, Mm. then I would do that. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised you didn't come to us because if you wanted some real good business people, we (laughs) over and Uh. over. The hypothetical yeah. Listen, he, businesses that we've started. Yeah, yeah he can. He can set me loose in a Scarborough. I'll come back with some stuff that will blow his cost margins away. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anybody want to expand expand your margins, Tiger? Are you interested in double the margin? <laughs> the logo, right. I think, is kind of interesting. The logo is is of is sort of an abstract of a tiger, dr- dr- drawn in lines and. The significance is there are 15 lines uh, representing every major he's won. Oh, cool. Whoa. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which begs the question, Monty, you're starting an apparel line. So bear in mind, he called it Sunday Red, three words. So I want the name and the animal that you're selecting as your logo <laughs> for the Monty Scott Golf Apparel right. Company. Oh, it's got to be an animal? 
Well, um, it doesn't have to be. It, I would think you'd like it to be an animal. You bring animals up a oh, lot on the show. I, I think we know what Monty's. <laughs> I think we know what Monty's name would be. It would be the Sunday Red Blacks. <laughs> we all be or, Ottawa I'll... Red Blacks uh, uh, logos. <laughs> Otherwise known as R. <laughs> I'll just put an R on it, and it'll be like, I love R's, R. <laughs> or maybe, it, yeah, it could go a pirate line. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, you could go with this one. Pirate. No, I, I, I would probably go, I'm going to go uh, Sunday Lime. Sunday Lime. I, I prefer mm-hmm. Lime. It's uh-huh. um, and, you know, it's it's a shout out to the, to the Caribbean, I guess, because they like to Lime, you know? Uh-huh. And um, <laughs> on the they shirt... Like- they like to lime. Yeah, they like to lime. Yeah. Yeah, he did. That's, that's their partying. It's just lime. They lime. I'm they lime you, all no, day. No. They lime all day. They lime all day. Lay them all night. Right. I'm like, I, you know, uh, if somebody was like, "Hey, how? What happened? You, you cheated on your wife?" And I'm like, "Yeah, man, I was liming all day." They're liming. <laughs> they get out there. They're liming. So, um, so I'm gonna go with Sunday lime. Interesting. And then um, I'm going to do a shirt um, that has uh, uh, a parrot on the shoulder that pops up <laughs> like you're a captain of a of a, of a ship. It or yeah, you don't have to be a captain. <laughs> no, it po- no, it pops out. Apparently, apparently it hides yeah, and then it, pops out. It, yeah, oh. it pops up. You know, like you could be either maybe air controlled or you know like the uh, maybe even like the the. The Nike, where you you pump up the shoes, you pump up the you pump up the parrot, so that it's full on. So now you got a parrot on your shoulder. You mean you come out no parrot? Right. Now there's a parrot. Yeah, captain is taking control. That's uh, gonna it's get in the way of your good. golf game. It's gonna get in your way of your golf swing. I think that parrot. Right. <laughs> the swing. Well, you know, you can put uh, for a right hander. You can put it on the left shoulder. You don't have to be. Damn. You don't have to be right shoulder. <laughs> the club caught the parrot again. <laughs> <laughs> the parrot is the, the parrot is interfered with my swing. You can always I love live and, live and parrot. <laughs> I also love, I also love that this is a complete hypothetical. But in his hypothetical, Monty still had to come up with what a captain would would do. Like he's not even assuming that he's a captain. He's like, if I put a parrot that emerges, that's going to make people think. I'm a captain, yeah. not right. just I'm a captain in your fantasy. Right. No, 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 just uh, I'm, no, I'm perpetrating like a captain. <laughs> well, no, no, this is a line of clothing for people that would like to people with the thing. Maybe he's a captain, <laughs> you know. Um, so, so it's a uh, you know the the whole scenario is like yeah, I'd be like yeah, you can wear this shirt. People will think you're a captain. Like, maybe well, that that's sounds... why. Maybe that's yeah. why these businesses never take off. Is they're so fucking no. niche. They're so <laughs> no. niche. Can I just inject something here? I think a hundred percent. If I saw a person walking down the street with a parrot on their shoulder, <laughs> the word "captain" never comes into my mind. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> well, you think he's a pirate, at least. What <laughs> words oh. come into your mind? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, my... <laughs> uh-huh. I'm definitely not thinking. Yeah, if I'm walking down the Danforth and there's a guy with a parrot, <laughs> right. Well, I'm probably thinking, where, where did you leave your unicycle, dude? Right. Yeah. And, I'm, yeah I'm not even. Is... I'm not even thinking pirate at that stage. I'm like, you're too yeah. landlocked to be a pirate, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> no, Matey. he's coming out of the creek. Um, Pete, uh, it's creek pirates. You know what I mean? They're coming out of the creeks. Is this like a Humber River pirate? Because <laughs> <laughs> I believe that there are some. I believe it. <laughs> a lot of people that live along that river. Oh yeah. yeah. What would Gina? What would yours be? You're the only one with fashion sense among the four of us. That's true. Like, what would my? Oh my god! I You're like awful. colors, so it'd definitely mm. be very colorful, bright. Um, but that's nothing new. <laughs> she yeah. says while wearing a gray sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, but I just painted my nails orange, so there you go. Um, my God, I don't even know. Ugh. Something hardcore. How about that? Because a lot of like female, uh, um, 
women's uh, women's golfwear is very like pink and green. So as much as I want to say like colorful, it's like ah, oh, they're already doing that with women's clothing. So something freaking hardcore, something that looks like like metal armor or something. Mm. Where would you put the, oh, the, like the parrot? Where does a parrot what? go in your clothing line? Right, I have to <laughs> consider the parrot. I think a parrot could go uh, along with that uh, that clothing line. They're colorful. <laughs> Like a oh, yeah. sword. How about a sword? Like the two swords <laughs> across. <laughs> oh, Cut your head off by up. accident. <laughs> <laughs> You've done full dystopian. <laughs> dystopian yeah. golf. We've been headed another golf. customer. That's the name, dystopian golf. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Dark. So Pretty good. This, this this dovetails well. We're both working out of the creeks. <laughs> <laughs> The creeks we are prominent are. in dystopia. I know that for sure. Oh, for sure. A lot of creeks. Yeah, yeah a lot of creeks. <laughs> uh, a lot of creek work. We're doing a lot of creek work. I, creek. I, If I was to design one, I think anytime, this is going to get relatively vain, but whatever. Anytime I see a picture of myself or a video of myself swinging a golf club, I, I find my attire is unflattering to my physical appearance, or maybe just I have oh, poor no. physical appearance, you know, put on a little bit of weight as I age, but it's always like, it always looks like I always look frumpy or, you know, big or whatever. So I'm, I'm going to partner with the company that made, that makes Spanx and make like golf clothes that make men golf look Spanx. really good golf Spanx, but like, so that they suck in your middle. So like on your back through, it just looks like, you just look like you have a strong shoulders yes. going down to like a yes. V kind of thing. That's what I would do. That's really funny. That's smart. great. I think. Smart. Yeah. Do they make it, Spanx there, for men? I don't know. Probably somebody does. Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Spanx well, does that. Were you just trying to will that into existence by saying it? <laughs> no, well, I was like, um, who else would be making Spanx for men except for Spanx? You know, they must be like, why would they have walked away from this? Like men, nah, they could go fuck themselves. I'm like, come on, Spanx. <laughs> Throw them a bone yeah. and they're like, okay, we'll make, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Like thinning, thinning clothes, the sausage material is our business. Yeah, right. Um, our goal is, is to saucify everyone on earth. Yeah. <laughs> I think... Well, I like um, for guys who golf, it's probably the most that they're seeing themselves on camera because a lot of probably. guys do record their swing. So yep. if you're not, you know, taking a lot of photos and videos in your every day and then suddenly you see yourself with your golf swing. Yeah, yeah. that might be like the first time you're like struck by how your body is. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you rarely you can't. It's hard to imagine yourself from behind swinging a swinging a bat or a club. And you'd be like. I wonder what this looks like from the back. Right. Sure. Yeah. A lot of times I think to myself, it looks like a dinger either way, you know, from uh, in person or just from 10 feet back. Either way, it looks like a are we dinger. Gonna have, are we going to have this debate again? How many <laughs> How many home runs did you say you could hit in the major league in oh, 162 no, games? No, no, no. I never, no, no, no. I did never said home runs. Oh, it was triples. I said, I, Sorry. No, I said three hits. Three hits. Okay. Three, one, two, three, and people are like, "That's insane!" And I'm like, "Come on, man, you're a." Also, this was like ten years ago too. My swing was better. Hmm. You know, I'm assuming I'm losing something. I mean, I already <laughs> lost everything. It doesn't really matter. But I mean, like, it's still just a man throwing a ball for the love of Christ, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, I, and I'm not talking about how many, about, how uh, many at bats are you hit? You getting three hits? Uh, five hundred and fifty. That's. I mean, that's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this is what I'm saying. I'm not I'm not like uh, oh my god, I'm gonna go out there and light shit up. That's terrible. I don't know why anybody would play you. Yeah. Nobody would play you, you know. That's still and more I reasonable. Than, I could play baseball. It's still more reasonable than the sixty year old man I know who says he could still score forty goals in the NHL. Oh, Jesus that is the yeah, most he's insane never, thing I've ever seen. Never he's never scored one. Come on. <laughs> yeah. He and he's, he's yeah, he thinks he could go he could go score forty. You know, but he I also doesn't believe all... that offside should apply to him. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow. I played hockey at least for 25 years, and I can honestly say, at my age, I don't think I could score 40 goals in my nine-year-old Pee Wee hockey league. <laughs> now. Right. Now. right now, if I went in there <laughs> right playing now. nine-year-olds, I still don't think I would score 40. 
But how many fights could you win? <laughs> I should win most of the fights. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll win most of the fights. There'll be a lot of injured kids. Um, I will. I'll score forty out of attrition, probably. The right. kids will just give up. They'll be broken. The parents are just. Parents? Yeah, just crying in the stands. He's 50. For God's sakes, why did we let that happen? What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> Another one, top corner. Bam. <laughs> Bam. But when he says top corner, that's up? where he punched the kid. He's yeah. punching a nine year old. Top yeah. corner. Hit him right at the top of the eye. Uh, uh, that's where you put the, uh, that's, where you, that's where you put the peanut butter, kid. <laughs> top corner. <laughs> Uh, uh, the idea that this man was never played hockey, just, I can't even, I can't get my head around somebody making that statement. 40 goals. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, we have a mutual friend who's a comedian whose uh, friend is a pro hockey player. Um, I think he's still a pro hockey player. He He never scored 40 goals, and he was the best of, like, <laughs> anyone yeah, yeah. he ever met. Right. Yeah, but is he 60 now? When he's 60, he might be able to still score 40. <laughs> 40 goals. <laughs> so many good pro hockey players have not scored 40 goals. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. It's so many. And and this guy at 60 years old, I mean, that's the kind of thing that should get you looked at. Um, like, <laughs> oh no! I should have doctors Monty, talking to the scouts are definitely looking at him. They're definitely going. This guy? <laughs> so you need <laughs> scouts from Cam the H. Kind of thing, or... the, yeah, you get you an appointment at Cam H. Like you should, like you're gonna have to go to Cam H and explain yourself on this one. Um, let's just see if he can talk his way out of this for um four, 40 goals in the NHL, sixty. Wow. Daryl, what would your company be? What would your brand be? Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't have any uh, animals that I like, so uh, I, I'm out there. I mean, he doesn't like clothes. He doesn't like animals. He doesn't like doesn't colors. Like, no. Yeah, you don't I, have uh, any animals that you like. <laughs> <laughs> animal that I'm. I'm really. You know, we did pet set a cat, uh, a grumpy cat in England that didn't have a tail. Mine would be a, oh. cat, a grumpy cat without a tail. <laughs> <laughs> I li- well, so I like, I like it. That's, that a, that's, that's, that's a lot of personality. Yeah, yeah. it would be a grr, umpy cat <laughs> clothing. <laughs> no tail. No, no tail. Tailless. It'd be no tail apparel. Yeah, or grumpy you have cat. Grumpy, a grumpy cat without a tail. That thing was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. That's very funny. There you go. I mean, up until up until that moment, not an animal that you liked. Just walked away from all of the animals. <laughs> not interested. Well, I like sloths, but I've never seen one. Maybe we're not good along if I ever finally meet a sloth. Well, That'd you be just cool. sit there uh, quietly with them. Hmm? I don't think they lot of, like a lot of banter. They seem uh, uh-huh. yeah. But yeah. Daryl likes them. What are you drinking, I, I like it. I'm drinking a twisted tea. It's, I realize uh, that you guys like um, you like your canned drinks. Like you guys were drinking fizzies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I, yeah, I, I like a canned drink. It's a, it takes the yeah. fuss and fuss out of things, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I'll even have a much. canned food, like uh, maybe uh, some beans or something. Yeah. you know, I'll some go that tea. far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not peas. Corn, some corn. Yeah. Like, um, I, I'm, I'm very particular about what I eat canned. I don't, I don't, I'm not in everything. Corn, I'm not, I'm not involved. Really interesting. Yeah, no, that's not I a bad like, name uh, for an apparel company. Canned goods, that's pretty good. Uh, you could do a yeah, lot. Yeah, of canned that's goods. not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. See? I think she just wrote that down. I think she literally just wrote that down. <laughs> canned goods. <laughs> Let's make this thing happen. Well, I got uh, oh, I got I got some golf news, everybody. Oh my god! I got my uh, I'm getting my clubs regripped. Wow, unbelievable! Yeah, very surprised. Yeah, it's a uh, you don't think really? it's gonna happen, but then it happens. Because I just bought these clubs, but I got a mid sized yeah. grip, and it it bothers my bothers my arm. Oh. And um, yeah, 
This is big Let's for see. you to spend money to get rid of something brand new to brand to, new to replace with something else brand new. I'm I'm yeah. frankly quite shocked. It's uh, it's sinful. I asked the guy to to give them to somebody. <laughs> that that doesn't work. I'm I'm still like this. It's a sin. <laughs> and they're like, it, it, I'm like, you know, Could I told them they. Them? No, What's you, have you ever seen how they take them off? You I literally have to. Off, right? you, you have to literally cut it in half to take it off. Oh, okay. You take an exacto knife to the bottom and swipe all. Yeah, the way but up. they could put it. Oh, back. really? No, I, I should tell them they, maybe it wouldn't work. The worst part is that's maybe how you have I to take off uh, Monkey's clothing line is with a knife. You have to cut it down. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine, look, sure. get them off. Yeah, mine's all metal, so you that's need. Right. At least a zipper. <laughs> and if not, then you need like pliers to get it off. Each item of clothing in Monty's Sunday red black line would come with a shiv though. That you could where you could cut it off. I like that. Well that's good. That, the, parrot, the parrot becomes a shiv. You just pull off the top of the parrot. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> a shiv. And the, oh, I'm like, oh the, this guy is a captain. The parrot is trained to say only one thing just over and over, it just says, Oh buddy. Oh buddy. <laughs> oh buddy. Oh buddy. I like that. Oh buddy. Because you know what? That one works for both. Could be a like a, an amazing drive. Oh buddy. Or get <laughs> shot in the creek for no reason. Oh buddy. <laughs> I like it. Works for everything. The parrot knows when to talk. <laughs> no, yeah, every, the parrot knows. Yeah. Any long periods of silence, the parrot will just be like, oh buddy. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, oh my god. Or um uh, or I could say, oh god, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> uh well you know what you know what I'm thinking for maybe maybe those uh, grips. Maybe I can get the grips off them, put them down flat, glue them, glue them together, and make a um a welcome mat out of it. Oh, there you go. What do you guys think? I'm saving the world over here. I like it. Quite Otherwise, the those those grips will be up a seal's ass before we even know it. I gotta, I gotta save, I gotta save the seal. What are you just, doing? Just like the, the, just like the garland behind you. Uh... <laughs> That's why I keep using this garland. I, I was, I've been accused of, of of milking Christmas, and I'm like, listen, I'll milk it till it's done. <laughs> Christmas not done till I say it's done. <laughs> I'm still I'm still caroling. Try to stop me. <laughs> we did we talk. The funny thing is, I walked over to Monty's the other night, and the, his neighbors actually have their Halloween decorations. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah just so... down the street from Monty, Halloween Damn. decorations. So it's not wow. he's not the worst <laughs> in the neighborhood. No, you're just covered for every <laughs> every holiday. You're covered. Yeah, we've got an eclectic crew of people here. There's a lot of Christmas lights still up. Because they're like, look, there's still lights. What do you want from us? You like to see in the dark? Yeah. That doesn't yeah. bother me. Some people are like, oh, how could they keep them off? And like, I don't care. That doesn't affect You live me in all. a Jeep, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just driving by all the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm only yeah, seeing you like for a second. <laughs> <laughs> you like the mosaic. You're like, oh, there you go. Some lights. There, that's nice. <laughs> that's why Gina that's why Gina was so late, is she never stops anywhere. She just drives by all the time. <laughs> She's constantly in motion. <laughs> that, that's gonna be the name of Gina's company, Drive By Clothing. That's yeah. great. Still driving. <laughs> yeah. That's uh my buddy had pitched me an idea for uh sim similar nonstop trucking where one person drives, the other person sleeps. Nonstop. So Gina, you and uh, Jeff do that, just nonstop oh, driving. Yeah. The just person nonstop. sleeps nonstop. Well, one sleeping. person sleeping, the other one's driving, just twenty four seven. No, never stop. No, never, never stop, stop motion. You know what I mean? Never stop yeah. stopping. Yeah. 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 Idea <laughs> never you? stop stopping. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll someone consider wanted, it. Someone wanted to get a, like a truck with you and do that. Well, the guy kept pitching it. I don't know. I was like, listen, I'm not in the trucking business, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> and he yeah, was like, like again, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you were. I, I'm <laughs> clearly mistaken. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. I can see why you'd make that mistake, but I, clearly I've never shown any interest in the trucking business. Not interested in the trucking business, really. I mean, I enjoy the hauling. Sounds fine, but you know, no, no, no. <laughs> Respectfully, no. And he's like, yeah, but we could be, we could drive nonstop, nonstop. And I'm like, no, I mean, that seems relentless, but sure. But, you know. Well, well did no, you pick up the parrot shirts? <laughs> no, no, that was uh, that was pre uh, parrot shirt. Okay. That was uh, the parrot shirt is new. Oh. I didn't have that in the hopper from back then. Right. He just he just loved the idea of nonstop. Do you trucking. think this guy can make the parrot shirt? The guy who wants to be a nonstop trucker can make the parrot shirt happen. <laughs> you never know. I mean, might be interested. Maybe if we could get him, um, maybe get another crew on nonstop parrot shirts. One guy sleeps, the other guy <laughs> makes parrot shirts, and then you you, you flip. Never stops, never stops. More parrot shirts, more, more parrot shirts. You know, <laughs> how many people on this planet? Eight billion. I don't know how long that takes two guys in a factory, but <laughs> we can make it happen. Everyone gets a parrot shirt, the, the and then we relentlessly make... truck it to them. I don't know if we, we have the, any uh, we artistic. I don't know if we have any artistic talent between the four of us, but any listener out there who likes to draw, I would love to see an artist rendering of Monty's parrot yeah. shirt. That would be fantastic. <laughs> That'd be we got the production, we got the distribution. All we need is the artwork and we're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all. That's all we need. Yeah. It's the only thing yeah. we're missing. Yeah, you're not going to source materials or anything? You're just going to go right <laughs> into from drawing to production? No, they're coming out hot. He needs they're they're coming all, out that immediately trucks relentlessly. All he needs to start is an artist rendering and another guy. <laughs> <laughs> we need another yeah, we need a we need a three man we need three people. One to join with my buddy in the nonstop trucking, and then two more um nonstop parrot. <laughs> That's oh, four stupid. people, not three. Yeah. <laughs> no, we already got the one. My buddy, my buddy right. wants to drive relentlessly. I think. Come on, Daryl. We're a growing Ed. business. <laughs> Ed wants to drive relentlessly. He still wants to do it. I think. Ed's on a, a one-track mind, non-stop trucking. <laughs> uh, it's his baby. So he, he can't wait to for it to have life. <laughs> Did you guys watch uh, or see any of the highlights from the golf last weekend that Nick, uh, that uh, the Canadian guy won the waste management? Nick Taylor. Nick oh, Taylor, right? Yeah, great. We watched that. We were at my friend Mike's for the Super Bowl, and we were watching that instead of the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huge cheers when he won. Huge cheers. Nice. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think. That was the, the waste management. Yeah. So, so who was it? A Canadian? Yeah. Nick Taylor, the guy who won the Canadian Open last year. Oh, with a big long putt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, so he's really you, good, and, eh? Yeah, he's great. And the the videos after is of just people getting sh like hammered at that event. That, yes. They're gonna. They're gonna. It's insane. Wild. The guy who kept falling in the mud. Yeah. 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 Just stumbling and then falling, and everyone's like, "Oh!" <laughs> it was painful to watch. Yeah. Kind of funny, but. Yeah. Kind of I want to go. I want. I, I want to see someone fall out of one of those balconies. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty good. They got, yeah they got like a five-story balcony the boxes there somebody's gonna go out of one of those things oh totally and then uh, they'll probably just throw them in one of the back of the trucks waste management nothing happened <laughs> easy no yeah easy no big deal just into a dumpster <laughs> it's how they that, show off their product like the coolest. <laughs> yeah they're like hey we can get rid of stuff as uh, relentlessly so you know non-stop <laughs> yeah. non-stop uh, garbage Stop garbage. I'm sure we've talked about this. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Gina, have you ever attended like a, a pro tournament? Um, the Canadian Open. And were you we working or were you just yeah, watching? Yeah, I was working. Um, I worked for Golf Town one of the times. Uh yeah, and uh score golf another time. And uh, uh, the women's, um, oh no, what's it called? C CK, oh, no, what's the women's, oh my god, I can't believe it. I don't remember. It's a women's event, the LPP. CP, C CK, CKPC, oh my god, I can't remember. 
Can we cut this part out? No, no. We're going to see once and for all. You know what? Behind the scenes, Gina talks about female golf so negatively. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm it up right now. I, th I think you threw Gina off, uh, Daryl, when you decided to come at your camera like um, <laughs> one of those pets that take uh, selfies. Yeah. It was just, it was just, I was just like, I don't, Daryl got attracted to the light, and then he, he was like, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, it was like the Blair Witch the Project light, or something. I had the light yeah. that fell over. The light fell over. I was trying to grab it, but I think it's the CP Canadian <laughs> Open or something. CPKC, CPKC. What's I the just can't remember the acronym. CPKC. <laughs> anyway, I interviewed um, uh, members of the LPGA. And, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it was great. Did you have downtime or were you working the whole time? Um, I had some time where I was just like in, hanging out with the media people, like in the media tent, which was pretty fun. Mm. Um, while everyone was like typing away, like especially the print journalists, they have to, they're on like really tight deadlines right. um, and constantly working so I was there distracting them and uh yeah I got to just kind of walk around which was great like super I, I love being outside I love um I don't know I just think it's such a neat format like mm. watching a golf tournament like you just follow the player well that's what it's I such... that's where I was going I'm sure we've asked yeah. each other this but if you were to go to a pro event would you sit on a hole and watch everyone go through or would you walk around following following so wow. fun mm. Mm. When I went to the Canadian Open the year that Mike Weir had the lead going to the 18th oh, tee, yeah. and then mm. he literally shit his pants, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, we would stay one hole ahead of him. It was great. Mm. So we were there like on the Thursday and the Friday and the Sunday or something. <clears throat> and he would finish, and we would go run into the next green, basically. Really? And we'd, always, we'd be in the front row for... On those first few days, like he made an eagle, we were right there watching. Like Damn. it was great. Was that uh, Glen I mean, Abbey? I I wanted... Yep. That's yep. awesome. He lost in the playoff. He literally, uh, when he was walking to the 18th tee, through like you know he has a like, cut through basically the gallery. I was in the front row. He walked right past me, and I remember turning to my friend, going, "Oh, he's gonna lose." Really? He you looked, he looked look? so scared. Like he Jesus. was. He was honestly probably a foot and a half away from me. And I was like, oh, he does not feel good going to this 18th hole. This is Damn. not good. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I think he Buddy. bogeyed it. He bogeyed it and then still had a playoff. Do you remember that? Like VJ, it wasn't yeah, like four holes. It looked like, like VJ Singh was trying to lose. He's like, he wanted That's the right. Canadian to win type thing. And That's it was right. just, and we just kept playing terribly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was the Canadian Open? Yeah. I followed wow. Rory well, Buddy, you're, you're... That was exciting. Go ahead. Where? You... Like the streets of Belfast, you followed him? Or... In, at the Canadian Open when he won four years ago. That's fun. Ooh. That was great. That was really cool. Like, And Dustin Johnson, when he... We had like a rain delay. Like it started raining and he just had to like quit. Uh, well, not quit, but like stop, and that was kind of cool because we were like walking beside him, and then he like we like walked back with him. He's just such <laughs> a big guy, like so big in stature, and he's it's amazing to watch him hit. He's just so powerful. Mm. That That's cool. cool. I didn't know he was big. Yeah, very tall. <clears throat> mm hmm. Uh, yeah, that's that's sick. I've never been. I I feel like I would cause some sort of problem. I don't know the protocol to um, uh, I'd be walking around these people. I feel like I might be quiet. Weird. It's hard. Be quiet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I would. I, I would know not to talk in there. So, hey, by the way. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm like, anyway, I was. I was looking for a, maybe a, a would, white claw. I'm like, like oh. would someone why, why shut up? A, why aren't you wearing a pirate? Why are you not wearing a, a parrot? Why aren't you wearing a parrot? <laughs> I'm selling parrot shirts relentlessly. Uh, no, please, please stop talking about backspin. It's hard to stay quiet, or, though, like, especially if you're, like, I was working doing, like, little, like, on-camera hits, as you call them, like, where I'm just doing, like, little on-camera bits where I'm, like, full of energy, and, like, hey, everyone, we're here at the community and blah, 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 and then, I, like, someone would step up to the tee, and then I'd have to be really quiet mm -hmm. all of a sudden, and I found that so difficult to turn that on and off, like, just right. that energy switch, oh, and I just kept yeah. almost talking and... 
yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm not meant to be in like a quiet environment <laughs> no that seems like a lot though when you're when, when you're trying to bring full uh, uh, bubbly energy and then you're got to be and then you're like okay yeah right that's a lot that's to hard. ask for that's a tough one yeah yeah I mean, in my scenario, I figured myself getting in trouble, and I'm not asked to do anything. <laughs> you know, yeah. in that in that one, you've got a job to do, and shit. In this one, I'm right. just wandering around. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm walking over a hill, and somebody's shooting it just over my head. And I'm like, oh, geez, I was in the <laughs> not following the pace of play here. I don't know. I'm looking for my ball still. I'm like, you're not playing. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> oh God, God, no. Yeah. <laughs> Monty, yeah, but that's gotta be tough. He found, a, he found a ball on the fairway. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, well, this looks like a good one. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind though. I wouldn't mind this one if I was in a golf uh, tournament. Um, if somebody hit me with a ball, one of those drives or whatever, because I would milk it. I would be like, "Oh God, why?" Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then just like I'd be. <laughs> Even I would be out on the fairway, like on me. He walked, <laughs> he walked a few steps, and then I would go down like Ric Flair. I'm like, oh, like, why? Fifty year old Guyanese man suspends play in tournament by rolling on fairway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I trying to extort them for like a hundred bucks. I'm like, give me something then. Come on, I can't, I can't see. <laughs> Yeah, they usually just give you a glove. That's it. They usually like yeah. sign a glove and then I'll that's what you glove. get. Give yeah. me, oh, give me another I glove. Just, I got two hands. <laughs> I just saw online that the um the streaker during the uh Super Bowl, mm. he like did this TikTok where he's like, "Hey, I'm the streaker who you know they had to stop and because there's a delay to me because I, I streaked across the field." He's like. So what I did is I bet on if there would be a streaker. Uh, and he's like, I bet ten thousand dollars, and then I was the streaker. Damn. And he's like, Well, I made ten thousand dollars. Literally oh. betting on yourself. Yeah. Wow, wow. that is amazing. That's the best streaker of all time. <laughs> That's crazy, God, right? That guy. That's how nuts. much did the lawyer cost? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yes. good point. Do you, well, why? I don't know. Do you get in trouble, really? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think many get in trouble. Probably. Probably gets... There's probably well, like a like trespassing might... or like an indecent, you know, something. Yeah, there there could know. be a decent fine, though. He, he shouldn't have said it. There could be a decent fine, like you, you could... Um, I'm sure you could go into court and be like, listen, I, I made a couple of mistakes. Um, I thought I was on the team. I don't know. <laughs> you know, and and then they'll be like, "Listen, this guy's half half freaking crazy. Just let him go," and be yeah. like, "I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I have sworn off football. I quit." Yeah, and then uh, but then as you leave the courtroom, you take off all your clothes and you just take <laughs> off running. <laughs> <laughs> go, go running again. You'll never stop me. <laughs> like they always stop you, bro. They always stop you. That's this was the hearing. <laughs> That's from when you were stopped last time. I'm like, oh, <laughs> they always stop you. That is a good point, though. I guess if you're a running naked man, um, y usually um, the good thing about that is um, the problem clears itself up if you're just standing still. <laughs> so that's why no they don't get caught as much because they you just let him go. He's still mm. running. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think I could do it ever. I don't. I, if I can't look at photos of myself taking a golf swing, I don't think I could streak. <clears throat> Plus, I'm a grower, not photos. a shower, so I don't want anybody uh, seeing me naked. Sure. You know. Yeah. Thanks for that detail, Daryl. I appreciate it. You guys are too self-conscious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The self-conscious streaker. That's the name of my that's, clothing company. That's funny. That's good. <laughs> well, that's a good one. That's a good. One. One, one thing's for sure, if I did streak, I would be covered in coconut oil, slathered. You will never wrap me up. It's impossible. Even, even the NFL players wouldn't be able to get a grip on me. Um, uh, impossible. I could steal all the fruit from the market and get away. <laughs> are you well, the Guyanese... speaking through a market? Is, is this where you're at now? Why are NFL well, players trying to tackle you in a market? <laughs> Um, that's kind of where it comes from. The Guyanese kids would uh, strip naked and grease themselves up and steal fruits from the markets. 
Because <laughs> you can't wrap up a, a, a Guyanese kid covered in coconut oil. It's impossible. And, you know, and then they got a mango. I will, got a I will guarantee the mango. That's it. Tried to tried to wrap them up. I will guarantee it. <laughs> I just, I just now have an image in my mind of you and Nick Reynoldson just lathering each other up with coconut oil. <laughs> Run it into the market? Yeah. In Scarborough. Well, I don't, in Scarborough, Scarborough yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Always. And it's cold up here. No, the the best is, um, you know, I my honest to God first thought there was, do you you don't want to run right, or, right away, but I was like, you're naked in Greece. You, the gig is up. You gotta, because I was like, you don't want to come in running. I'd be like, I'll just come in walking, and then be like, you can't, right. you can't just nonchalantly walk into the market naked and greased and be it. like, uh, hey, um, is this looks like a ripe mango? And then you book out. <laughs> well, you gotta book into the market. Yeah, you're a very confident streaker then if you're just strutting in like a <laughs> yeah, slow saunter. And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, what's up with me? I'm like, oh nothing. I'm just, uh, um, I'm Greek. <laughs> I like, I like the looking for a ripe, a ripe mango because you want to eat it today. You don't want to yeah, wait. I, yeah, I'm like, I didn't want to get one of those fucked up mangoes. I was like, listen, I'm going to rot the fruit market. At least get some good stuff. But then I was like, no, you got to come in running because you're greased and naked. That's conspicuous as it is. Uh, I could say, I guess you could play it off and just say, you know, I'm greased. Yeah, it's grease. If somebody was like. <laughs> Somebody's like, what it's happened? Is like, oh, it's grease. And I'm like, don't even mention the negatives. I'm like, yeah, it's, yeah, I put on some grease. Um, hey, you like, know, oh, remember okay. a year, uh, like a year and a half ago when we asked you to be a guest on our podcast? Do you ever think you'd be sitting here <laughs> listening to Monty go on and on about being greased up and running through a grocery store? It's... <laughs> I never, <laughs> ever imagined this. No. no well, it's amazing uh, where we uh, end up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> There's no turning back. <laughs> or, well, you know what? Um, if if I could pull it off, I'll find a way to get that parrot on my shoulder still. <laughs> While it's right. making grease. Yeah, with a parrot. One parrot, one shoulder. Oh, buddy. That's my favorite. That's my favorite Bob oh, Marley song. Buddy. One parrot, one shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> a parrot for every shoulder. <laughs> oh that's a good place as any for us to wrap up i think uh yeah i mean yeah we did it again that was episode five season five we're in we're in the later stages of february which means we're getting somewhat closer to a golf season monty's getting new grips things are happening yeah i, yeah. Think, yeah, I think i think we're, we're we can safely say no one's gonna ever try to copy our golf podcast that's true <laughs> yeah I don't know if that's you a can good try. thing. Yeah. Yeah, they can try. <laughs> they will. Yeah, yeah, you will fail. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Comedy Records. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Good night. <laughs> God bless you all. Merry Christmas. You can hear it, uh, although it looks like it's strongly uphill, it's really...